Alright guys, in today's video we are in the cat den because we're currently fostering cats and we'll probably end up keeping a few of them. So Chunk, call this one Chunk. No, his, his name's Marv. Really like this one. Looks like a snow leopard. And he seems to like me, so happy days. Put you there, Marv. Go on, lad. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, he likes that post. Um, we are going to be checking out something different today. The 20 gallon is in here. I'll overlay some footage of that right now. Looks pretty neat. Um, 125 gallon is looking quality as well. But we're not looking at that. And we're actually not going to be looking at anything in the fish room either. I'm going to take you upstairs and we're going to look at the growth in the low tech plant tank. So. Stick gander. Hi guys, so this is the tank about four months ago after I initially rescaped it and set it up. Boatload of crips, some Anubias, some Hygrophila, and then we've got some carp implants, being Monte Carlo and Dwarf Airgrass at the front of both islands. I originally thought I'd bring you this video as I put something on the community tab not too long ago and there seemed to be a decent amount of interest, so... Just bringing you this video just to show you what's happened in the four months just in terms of the growth of this tank. As a lot of you know this tank is just low tech which means there's not any addition of CO2. All I've got in this tank is a filter, a surface skimmer that you can see at the top right of the screen right now and then an Asta 20 light and I'll leave links to those products down in the description if you want to check them out. Absolutely awesome and overall I'm really really happy with them, especially the Aster 20 lighting fixture that I've had now for about a year and a half, maybe two years. So this is the tank about four months ago, but let's see how it's looking now and if you've got any questions about how to achieve this level of planted tank growth in a low tech tank, I would strongly advise you to check out my five tips for low tech planted aquariums video and I'll leave a card top right of your screen right now. But, let's check it out.
So I hope you enjoyed that look at the 11 gallon rimless tank. And overall I'm absolutely buzzing with how this tank turned out. Just thought I'd finish with a quick little voiceover while all the fish and the shrimp and the snails are feeding a little bit. Should be able to see the shrimp becoming more active as he smells the food. And overall for a low tech tank, I think this is coming along really, really nicely. And the next objective with this tank is to try and get some emergent growth and that's basically growth that's coming out of the water. I'm going to try and do this with two plants, first one being the hygrophila and the second one being the weed looking plant in the back of the tank to the left. I can't exactly remember what that plant is but it grows incredibly fast and I think in time that should definitely be able to grow out of the water so that's the next aim for this tank unsure how it'll go but hopefully that's something that i can achieve and besides that i'm just going to keep doing what i'm doing maybe add some other fish in this tank at some point and that's about it just keep plodding along overall i'm really really happy with escape really happy with the plant growth and hopefully they'll continue to thrive as they have been doing for the past four months let me know what you think to this tank guys in the comments let me know what you think to the growth and as I stated at the start of the video, make sure you check out the five tips for low tech planted aquariums video, because that'll help you, especially if you're interested in doing a tank like this one that you've seen in this video. Thanks a lot for all your support. We have actually experienced a decent influx in subscribers this past month. So really, really happy about that. Hopefully we continue to gain more subscribers and the old ones stay around even though i know we are more of a sickly channel but i do like sharing this kind of stuff every now and again because it is a big part of the hobby as well and i'm really really happy with how this tank's looking make sure you're subscribed if you're not i'll be bringing you a new video next week which will actually be on a local fish store tour called elmer's aquarium in pittsburgh and that's looking like it's going to be about a 15 to 20 minute video and absolutely boatload of fish to check out a great store so be sure you subscribed if you're not already and we'll see you on the next one thanks for all your support bye for now